create a CI/CD Jenkins Git integration pipeline. For that, first is the installation of Jenkins, creation of repository on Git, then create a test file, let it be a Java file, push that file to the Git repository, and CI/CD Jenkins Git integration, and we will see by changing the file that CI/CD is running or not. So first step is that creation of everything from the scratch is installation of Jenkins. So Jenkins as of now that is on September 2022 it demands Java 11 version. So if I open my console, the CMD, I'm just typing Java 11 version and I've checked that I'm having Java 11 version installed in my system. So if you are not having, then you need to install that Java 11 version at least. So now let's open this Jenkins exe file and run this and it is asking to run as local system. I am running as local system. You can go with local or a domain user and click on next and let the default port be 8080 but sometimes 8080 is generally in use so you may not require but I am using 8080 here. So I will click on next and it is asking to install Java 11 directory. So I'll change the directory from Java 8 to Java 11 and I have changed and click on OK. So click on next and since all of these things are by default, so I'll go with next and click on install. So as you can see, the Jenkins has installed. I'll click on finish. So if I go and open localhost 8080, the Jenkins should start. So I have click on Jenkins 8080 and it is saying that it has started, but it wants some of the parameters like administrator password at this path. So I'll just copy this path and go to the folder structure and paste it here this path and it is asking me to open through any of the existing data so I have opened from notepad plus plus and copy this admin password and paste it in the Jenkins administrator password block so it is asking to for plugins to install but I will install the suggested plugin this time it takes lots of time so I fast forwarded it here and provided the configuration parameter and I provide the default URL and click on finish and start using Jenkins. So we are done with installation. Now let's go and create a repository. So I'll create a new repository at my user. So I'll name it as CICD and it will be a public one and I'll click on create repository. So the repository is created. Let me copy this URL and I'll create a folder structure here in my local system and here I'll open the git bash terminal where I will just clone the repository here. So I will write the things here and try to clone this repository. So I'll write git clone and the ul which I have copied from the repository of git. So as you can see CICD is coming here. Now in this CICD I'll create a file of Java. I am not going with any ID. I am just using a text file here of Java. So I will name this file as test file dot Java and let me open with notepad plus plus only not through any ID because of some easy doing things. So I will write this same name which I have given to the file as test file and I will write the main method in this because Java starts with public static void main and string arguments. So I'll write string array and args. Inside I'll just provide a sysout. So system.out.println and I will write here in this string value as hello play Java, which is our channel. And provide semicolon. So this is a normal Java code. It says that hello play Java will be printed. So we have installed Jenkins, created this test file. Now let's push this to our GitHub. Before that, let me compile this file and test it. So Java C has compiled and created a class file. And now I'll write Java and the file name without extension. So as you can see, program is executed successfully. So we are okay with it. Let me delete this class file because we don't need to push that class file. So now I have opened the Git Bash terminal and through here I am 
going to push my file to the repository. So I will write down git status and it says that a new file is there. So I'll just add that file and again I'll write git status. And as you can see, it says that it has been added. Now I will commit this file, git commit hyphen m for the message, CICD test file Jenkins. So my file is committed. Now I'll push this to the main stream. So I've written git push and hyphen setup upstream origin main. So my file is now pushed to that repository. And let me do a refresh in the browser. So if I do a refresh, you can see the test file is now coming here. Really get we are on our Jenkins and here we will configure a new job. So I will name this job as CICD git demo and it will be a freestyle project. So if I go to oh, freestyle project and click on OK. So this Jenkins configuration portal will open and lots of things has changed. So it is asking for the project URL of GitHub repository. So this is my project URL of GitHub repository. I will copy it from here. And since I've copied, I'll just paste it here. And you can see this is our URL which we have provided here. So if I scroll down a bit, little bit down. So source code management, we are going with Git only. So we'll provide this. And again, the same repository path which we need to provide here. So you can see Git plugin provides fundamental Git operation for Jenkins project. So things are being explained here in the new Jenkins version of 2022. So it is good to go and just do the configuration. So we have provided the repository credentials we don't require as of now. And we'll scroll down for the other things like policy M. So if I scroll down before the policy M, it is asking for the path of our git main branch. So main branch, as you can see, this is not a master. This is a main. And let me confirm this through our git bash also. So I'll open the git bash here. As you can see, this is the main branch. So I will provide the main here, not the master. So this is one thing to be noted that we need to confirm whether it's main or it's master. And after this, we'll scroll down for the build triggers and build triggers as we know that it's a kind of job which keeps on triggering every time. So we are going with the policy M. It's a Chrome expression only that at what interval you need this to be executed. So I'll provide five asterisks, which means that every minute this job will build. And if anything, any changes will happen, then it will go and build that job. So I'll click on apply and click on save as of now, since one more thing is there. We need to execute our Java code. For that, we need to execute Windows patch command. So I will just provide two more things. That is to compile and run the Java code. So for Java compile, I will write Java C and my file name. So my file name is test file.java. So I will just provide this name here. So whenever the build will happen, this file will be compiled. And after that compilation, my Java will be executed using the test file. So for execution, Java and the file only without an extension. So this thing will be executed and console will give us the result. So now the things are already set up and I'll click on apply and click on save. So just after save, as you can see, already this has been triggered. So if I go and check it, so while we were, we have clicked on apply and done. So it was triggered earlier also because we have done a delta change there. Now let me go again to the CICD git demo and try to execute this batch. So I will just go with build now. And now the build number two has started and it will be executed soon. So it has been executed. Now let's open the console. And as you can see, our Java compile and Java execution has done and hello play Java, which was written in the file is coming on the console. So till now we have installed Jenkins repository and file to the Git repository and also configuration with us CICD Jenkins with Git is done. 
Now let's change the file and run the CI CD automatically through policym every minute. So now two builds are already done. So if I'll change anything in the file, then it should reflect in the Jenkins and automatically the Jenkins job will run in that minute. So if I go and open my file and I'll do the changes here and commit on the GitHub. So let me provide a few more lines of data here. Final build number three with Jenkins and get CSAD. And let me write some exclamatory things like finally we did it somewhat like that. So we'll write we did it. That's it. So my file has changed now. And now I will push my code to the Git repository. So now the main CI CD will work. Code will be pushed to the Git CI Git repository and automatically the Jenkins job will run. So it Git says that it has been modified. So I will add this Git file to the Git. And now let me open the repository in the browser. And after this, as you can see, it will show that two commits has already been done earlier. And now we will do a commit and three commits will be done. So now I'll provide a commit as git commit after this git status git commit. And I will provide the message as a hyphen M and the message will be for CICD direct build. And I will do a git push. So already one commit is done. I'll do git push. And my file will be pushed. So I'll do a refresh. As you can see, three commits are done. This is the last build. And now automatically the build will start here because every minute the scheduler keeps on running. So since we have pushed it to the git repository, so as you can see, automatically at any moment, see already it has started now. So it has been built. Now let's go and see the console output, whether how our file changes is coming or not. Yes, it's coming. Hello, play Java final build number three with Jenkins and Git CSD. We did it. So guys, we have finally did it and we have installed the Jenkins, created a repository on Git, created a test file, post that test file to the Git repository here. And in this Git repository, this was our file which we had pushed and we have created a CICD Jenkins job to pull the SCM through Git repository through this configuration, which we have done by providing the Git data. And after this configuration, we have changed the file and run the CICD through our Git using Jenkins. So this was about creating a CICD pipeline from scratch. I hope you liked it. So thank you all for watching my video.